Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Nice. Very well. Here thinking about the weather that is kind of crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Windy, cold, sometimes hot. I don't know. Something's going on. Okay, we're going to wait just a few minutes so the rest of the classmates join to the class, okay? Okay. Hello, good evening, Elvis. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you today? I'm really fine, teacher, great, really nice. great. Perfect. Welcome to the class. We're going to wait just one or two more minutes for the rest of the class to come, okay? Okay, teacher. Nice. Hello, good evening, Lorena. Yes. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine, <laughs> I say. <laughs> Mondays are difficult, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, welcome and, to the class. How, thank you, and how are you? I'm very well, you know. I was talking to the mm -hmm. other classmates that I'm checking that the weather is kind of crazy today, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sí. but, but we're fine, okay. we're here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Hello. Good evening. How are you, Edwin? Uh, I am good. And you? Very well. Surviving here the weather. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to start. Of course, the first question is, how is the platform going? Uh, are you doing some exercises? Everything is going well. Do you have questions, comments about the platform? I made some practice. Very good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, this week by uh, Thursday, we suppose that we have to check the midterm test. So we should be at that point at least uh, by Thursday. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. So we're going to start our class for today. we're going to check some other adverbs of quantity. Okay, so we have, uh, for example, too many. Well, these are four count nouns that are the ones that we can count. We can say there are too many cars. So just remember that whenever we use count, uh, we are going to use the verb in plural like are and the noun in plural as well, cars. There are too many cars. Uh, there should be fewer cars. So fewer is also another one that is very common. We need more subway lines. This is a very good one because we use more like when whenever we need something, right? Or there aren't enough buses. That is when we need more as well. And with the non count nouns, we have like too much. That is the... Uh, let's say the similar to too many. Uh, there is too much traffic. There should be less pollution. This is more what, like when you want to provide an opinion, right? There should be less pollution. They shouldn't be, or they shouldn't, we shouldn't have, we can use that one. Uh, we need more public transportation that is the same more and enough of both of those. You can use either with uh, count and noun count nouns. Okay. Uh, do you have a question about this? No question. No, no question. Teacher. Okay. This is kind of easy, but of course we're going to practice. So um, we're going to check this in order. So number one, how it's going to be? There are too many buses. There are too many buses. What do you think for the Salvador? Do you believe that we have too many buses? 
in this moment, no. <laughs> okay, so we're okay, or we need more? Uh, we need uh, more. We need better. We need more. <laughs> we need more. <laughs> Maybe it depends on where you live, right? Uh, because, yes. yeah, if you yeah. <laughs> live in places no that are more. crowded with lots of cars, well, that is different. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about number two? How is it going to be? Mm. There should uh, be fewer cars in our city. Perfect. That is it. There should be fewer cars in our city. So what do you think about cars? Do you believe that there are a lot of cars that we need fewer cars in, in our cities? I think it will be better in the for the pollution that is necessary having a car because sometimes we have to travel long long ways so uh, using buses is difficult. That is true. Sometimes using buses, I mean, wait and it's crowded and sometimes you have to take two or three buses. So it won't be that good. I believe that probably um, at some times it's difficult, right? For example, Fridays at six, sometimes at seven, a lot of cars on the street or in the morning when you are going to your jobs, sometimes it's very difficult. But yeah, they are necessary sometimes. What about number three? We more need public transportation. We need more public transportation. Okay, so that's what we're talking about, right? That yeah, we need maybe better. That is different. Maybe no more, but maybe better public transportation, right? What do you think? Yes, I, I think, think the same as you, teacher. The better. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes buses are not that good. Uh, the roads are not that good. Um, many things can be improved. What about number four? Um, there is too much pollution. There is in too much um, pollution. In, in our country. country's air. Very good. There is much air, too much air pollution in our country. What do you think in El Salvador? Is, is there pollution there in El Salvador? Yes, there is. Yes. Yeah, a lot, right? Yes, there is. Yeah. I, I guess El Salvador is, is very polluted. Some other cities, probably they are in some... Uh, parts, uh, but San Salvador probably is the more polluted part of the country, I guess. Uh, mm. Let's talk about number five. What do you think? How is going to be that one? There are, there are, there are, are enough, enough, enough car parts. Car parts. There aren't enough car parts. It's difficult to park here in El Salvador. What do you think? Yes, yeah. it's difficult. Yeah, it's not that easy, right? Sometimes you have to go around and around so you can find yes. a good space that is close where you're gonna go. Yes. What about number six? We need, we we need, need more money. money. What do you think about that? <laughs> All the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, right? Yeah, we need more money. Probably it's very interesting human nature. I have read, for example, about people that they have a lot of money, but they need more, right? What yeah. do you think that happens? Um, example is the pension. I don't know if I said it right, but no. uh, uh, many people get older, working and working but the money is not enough yeah 
Yeah, life is very expensive, right? And uh, yes, I mean, we want our family to live well, right? And sometimes, well, it's difficult. Anyways, number seven. There are, there are many, many suicides. Many, many, there are, there are too many. Uh, there, there are, are many too many suicides. suicides. That is suicides. suicides. There are too many suicides. That is, well, to be honest with you, I don't know uh, how many are there, but I guess there are a lot around the world, right? Okay. What about number eight? Eight. Um, the will. Um, the build too the many government, government highways. Government. We need to build to build many, many oh. highways. highways. Okay. The, the news build too many government highways. highways. Yeah, actually, it's going to be as you said. Uh, the, oh, okay. uh, the government. The ah. government needs Need. to build government many highways. To build oh. government. That is going to be. So, uh, do you think that we need more highways here in our country? I think we need it. Oh, okay. Right. To connect with places that sometimes it's difficult to access, right? Yes. Okay. Good, good. Uh, number nine, how is it going to be? There, there be shoeless noise. Okay, there should be. There should be. There should be less less noise. That is. There should be less noise. Do you believe that? Do you think that El Salvador is a noisy place? Yes, I have. Some place. Yes, I have. Neighbor who very noise yeah. really <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah i mean yeah here i mean when you are walking on the streets there is music the cars the uh, buses uh, well it's very nice right that's that is true oh, selling things <laughs> yeah people screaming right selling things <laughs> <laughs> okay what about number 10 we have too many buildings. We have too many buildings. We have too many buildings. Okay. Buildings. <clears throat> Do you think that in El Salvador we have too many buildings? Kind of. Some places uh, there are too many buildings, but there are other places that have a few. Yeah, that is true. Uh, in the cities, I mean, San Salvador, there are some places that there are some buildings, but there are other places mm -hmm. where we don't have lots of buildings, so houses and things like that. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. now we're going to do a little exercise. Uh, I want you to give your opinion. Uh, how can we improve the world for future generations? What can we do? We need more of these, less of these. What do you think? I think um, one of the principal things we can do is to teach children to take care of um, the environment, animals, plants, uh, recycle materials, uh, respect people, very good. That is a very good thing. I mean, the environment, I mean, can you feel the weather today? I mean, that is something that is changing, right? Yes. And uh, the world is getting crazy and we need to, to take care. I mean, maybe we are not going to change the world, but we can teach our kids so they can take care of the environment in the future. That is a good thing. Nice. Um, any other thing that we need to do? to improve the world for future generations? We can teach them values. 
Very I good. think the most important thing in this world is that we need child that respect each other because if they respect each other, they will put on the world love and kind. And sometimes this is some values that the world have has for, forgotten, right? And if we have? teach and if we teach to them how to love each other, how to love the world, how to love people, the world will change. Maybe not like you said, right? Maybe the world don't change, but we can make a difference. Very good. Yeah, that is something that is very important. Values sometimes, I mean, I, I believe the values are always changing. I mean, it's not the same right now that five years ago or than 50 years ago, right? I remember, I mean, if you see the newspapers, the world was totally different before. And now with technology and social media, that is faster, right? Um, and yeah, we miss a lot of love. People, they don't know what love is sometimes. They don't know how to take care of each other and respect nowadays. If you see social media, I mean, one person dies and they do not respect anything like that or any other situation. So it's important what you say. That's good. Any other opinion about our future generations that we can do for them so the world is better? I think that the government uh, need to budget for education. Yeah, education needs to be better, right? Yes. Yeah, because education here in our country is um, not that good. Uh, I mean, it's good, but that depends on many things. It depends on the school where you go, the yes. classmates, the teachers, also education uh, at home is very important as well. Yes. Very good. Any other opinion? Mm. How do you think it's going to be the world in 20 years? It's going to be better, it's going to be worse, the same. Um, I think um, it could be both. Um, some things could be better, but some things could be worse. And it depends on the actions of the people right now to make changes for good. Yeah. I totally agree on you. I mean, for example, in technology, uh, we have advanced a lot, right? Probably, I, I mean, we live better right now in, in things of, for example, uh, medical situations. In the past, there weren't lots of uh, medicines. And right now, we have a lot of medicines that can help us live better. But yes, as uh, our friend here says, values are changing. And um, people, they care more about money than taking care of the environment and other people. So sometimes that is not good, right? We need to have like a balance. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if we are going to be here in 20 years, but maybe we're going to have the chance to see what is going to happen. Okay, good. Let's move on. Okay, so this uh, is different topic, direct questions and indirect questions. Okay, uh, this is very easy, actually. It's not that complicated. A direct question is like the first two. Who is she? Where can I sit? That is direct question. What's your name? Um, what's your favorite color? All those are direct questions. Indirect questions are like a question inside a question, okay? So these kind of questions, we use them to be polite. When you want to be respectful, 
And uh, in certain situations, you can use this kind of questions. For example, who she is can be, do you know who she is? Can you see that the verb changes, right? Who is she goes to who she is. That is important. So in the indirect question, the first part, the first question is normal. Do you know? And the second question is going to be like a regular sentence. Who she is, not who is she, but who she is. And we have the other example. Can you tell me where I can sit? So we transform. I mean, the first part of the question, can you tell me, is like a regular question. But the second part, the second question, is going to be like a regular grammar sentence. Where I can sit. Not where can I sit, but where I can sit. Okay. Also, we can use this as an indirect question in a statement. He is asking who she is. So that is not a question, but it's like requesting information. He is asking who she is. I wonder where I can sit. So the structure of the second question is the same. It's going to be like a regular sentence. Okay, so that is the difference. The first thing is, that these uh, questions are when you want to be polite, respectful. And then just remember that the second part is going to be structured like a regular sentence, not as a question, okay? And it says below, look, in the questions are structured like statements. That's what I'm telling you. And in the second part, there is no question mark, okay? Because it's a statement. Do you have any questions about this? No question. Question, teacher. Okay. As I was telling you, it's not that difficult, but of course we're going to practice. Uh, are you able to see there or do you want me to make bigger the screen? Maybe bigger, right? Let you me can see. see. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That is better, right? Uh -huh. Good. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do magic. And we're going to transform those questions into indirect questions. These are questions that are direct questions. So we're going to transform them into indirect questions. So you can use many, many types. The most common are... Um, do you know? Do you know? Can you tell me? Do you mind? All those are very, very common. So number one, how is going to be in indirect question? Okay, in this case, this is a very good example. In this case, it's going to be, do you know if she went out last night? Okay, okay. went. Good, nice, perfect. Number two, how is this going to be? Could you tell me where, where did she, met she met her brother? Very good. Could you tell me where she met her brother? Nice. Met and no auxiliary. Good, good. Number three, how is it going to be? How was the field? Would you mind to tell me how was the film? Would you mind to tell me how the film was? Yeah, because it's going to be the structure is going to be different, right? How the film was. Okay. Number four, how is this going to be? Do 
do you know? No. Do you know? Or do you tell me? Or can do you? If. Can if. you tell? If. Can you tell me? If was. Maybe the first to arrive was. To arrive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can you tell me if David and after David was was David was okay? So, can you tell me if David was the first to arrive? So, just remember okay. that in this case, the verb to be is going to move to the other part because it's like a regular statement. Can you tell me if David was the first to arrive? Mm -hmm. We don't know, right? We don't know David. Okay. Number five. Who is going to be? Do you know Lucy worked at home yesterday? Do you know if Lucy worked at home yesterday? Good. Worked and not did. Perfect. That's good. So in this case, just remember that we are not going to use the auxiliary and we're going because it's going to be like a regular statement so words we're going to use the verb in past and no auxiliary so number six how is going to be um, uh, may you tell me what was the problem okay can you tell me or may you tell me yes may you tell me what Do was you know? the problem what the problem was good what the problem was that is it so could you tell me what the problem was so we change again the verb to be in position right that is important okay number eight would you tell me who we did see at the party? We saw oh. at the party. Okay. Yes. Could you tell me who we, we saw, saw at the party? The party. Party. Let's go to a party. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is correct. Nice. As you see, uh, you just need to pay attention to certain things, but it's not that complicated. So what about number eight? Could you tell me if Zach uh, called his, called mom, his mom his mom yes. yesterday? Good, perfect. Now you are in the way. That is good. Could you tell me if Zach called his mom yesterday? Nice, perfect. Number nine now. Do you mind to tell mm -hmm. me if they were at the beach? Very good. Do you mind to tell me if they were at the beach? They were. Nice. Perfect. What about number 10? Do you know where, where, know where the class was? Perfect. Was where the class? Good. Do you know? Yeah, you can say, do you know where the class where was? The class, the class was. was. Yeah, the verb to be is going to be after the subject. Where the class was, of course, we are going to continue. Number 11. Can you tell me why... They arrive so late. Can you tell me why they arrived so late? Good. So as you can see, it's very easy. I mean, if there is the verb to be, we just change the position. If is with other verb, we don't use the auxiliary and we transform the verb into simple past. That is it. That is everything. Number 12. Do you know if she was at home yesterday? Very good. Perfect. Do you know if she was at home yesterday? We don't know. 
anyways. Number 13. Do you know how she does it? She does it. How she? Do you did know? It. Did it. Good. Did it. Okay. Do you know how she did it? Uh, nice. Number 14. What is for did it? I'm sorry? What is for did it? Okay. It's did it because, as I was telling you before, when you do uh, two questions together, like an indirect question, the first part is, do you know? Like a regular question. And then the second part, if we use the verb, uh, any other verb that is not the verb to be, that is in past, like in this situation, number 13, we are going to remove did. We are not going to use did. And then the verb is going to be in past, in simple past. In this situation, we're going to remove did, the first one, and do is going to transform into did. So it's going to be like, do you know how she, because the first did is not there anymore. Do you know how she did it? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, it's complete, yeah, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. What about number 14? Will you tell me if they were in the garden? Very good. Could you tell me if they were in the garden? Nice. Number 15 now. They are late. Could you tell me if they arrive late? Perfect. That is it. Could you tell me if they arrived late? Nice. Number 16. Do you know if Young you finished? Young you finished the report. Perfect. Nice. Do you know if Young finished the report? Good. Number 17. Can you tell you me know? if we came, we were late for the meeting? Very good. Can you tell me if we were late for the meeting? If we were late. Nice. Mm -hmm. Number 18. They were the they know what they did at the weekend? Good. Do you know what they did at the weekend? Okay. Nice. And the last one. Why was Can you tell me early? why she was so early? Good. Early. Can you tell me why she was so early? Nice. Okay, I see that now with the practice, you, you manage this a little bit better. Uh, do you have any question about this? indirect questions those are very popular so it's very important for you to practice them mm -hmm. okay try to remember and try to tell them correctly yes no questions I think, no i think they just yeah. need to practice no i think i need to practice <laughs> Yeah, that's why I bring a lot, a lot of exercise sometimes, you know, to yeah. practice. And then you realize, oh, you say, it's like this. Uh -huh. Because yeah. sometimes we understand the grammar, but when you are using, mm -hmm. the grammar is different, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's I what... That is for practice. I think yeah, it's for practice. Yeah. yeah, that is the most important. Understand and then practice. Okay. This is... Uh, something that we got that is similar to the first part. Okay, um, this is very easy actually. We're going to use too, too much, too many. When something is more than we want or need, as we were discussing before, right? When, well, when we have too many cars in, on the street. So that is, we don't want more, right? Too many cars is like, 
there are too many. We don't want, we don't need more. Okay, but there are some rules. I mean, you can use two plus an adjective. That is a description, you know? For example, this cake is too sweet. Mm, I don't like it, too sweet. So sweet is an adjective. Okay. Then we have uh, the other example, you are too strict, not good, okay? Also, we can use too much with uncount nouns or after the verb. For example, you have too much free time, okay? So that is um, a good example for this one, or you work too much. So after the verb, you can say too much. I sleep too much. I jump too much. In past as well, you can say I worked too much yesterday. So you can use that with any tense, and it means that it's not good, but you can use it with adjectives and can nouns for like time, free time, or after a verb, after work in this situation. Okay. Do you have any question with the first part? I think no. Okay. Let's go to the second part of them. Something is less than we want or we need. We're going to use not enough. That means that we want more. So for example, I can say, I don't have enough money. So that means I want more money, right? I need more. Of course, there are rules for that one. So we can use not enough with a noun. For example, they don't have enough workers. I didn't have enough time. As you can see, this is possible with, uh, possible with countable and non-countable, okay? Yes. The other one is not enough with adjective. In this situation, the, the structure is going to be different. We're going to use not, then the adjective, and then enough. So for example, she isn't, that is the negation, that is the negative part. She isn't old enough. So that is old, the adjective, and enough. So she isn't old enough to vote. I am not fast enough for the team. So structure is very important in this one. Yeah. And the other one is not, the negative part. You can use a verb and then enough. So I don't sleep enough. You didn't study enough. You need to study more, right? So do you have any question about not enough? In this part is important the, the negative part, right? Yeah, because in this case, when we use enough, when negative, it means that we want or we need more. Okay. So that's why we want to express that we need more. So I don't have enough. She doesn't have enough. We want more. All right. Of course, we have the other part. Mm -hmm. Something is the correct number or amount. That means that we don't need more or less. We are fine. Everything is good. In this situation, we're going to use enough in affirmative, we are not going to use a negative in this one. It's going to be affirmative all the time. It is very similar to the first one. So we can use enough plus a noun. I earn enough money. That means I don't need more. I'm fine. Everything works fine. I earn enough money. 
We have enough chairs. Again, this is possible with countable and non-countable nouns. So I earn enough, I'm sorry, we have enough chairs. We don't need more. That's fine, we are okay. We can use that with adjectives. So we're going to use the adjective and then enough. So for example, this place is big enough. So it's fine. That is what we're looking for. Or you're clever enough to see it. So you are, you have the understanding that you need. We don't need more. And of course, it's possible to use this with verbs. So we are going to use the verb and then enough. For example, I think I sleep enough. He eats enough for his age with verbs. Do you have any questions about this one? Enough. No, no question. No question. Okay. Nice. Then we are going to check something else. We well, we can practice on the other one. So let's do an exercise on enough. Not enough. I'm going to return so we can check into that. Uh, we're going to give examples just to finish the practicing here. Okay, for example, uh, Lorena, could you please tell me an example with two? Um, no. uh, this class is too interesting. Okay, too interesting. That is good, you can say that one, nice. Uh, really, with not enough. There were examples. Any example with not enough, different from the ones that we have there on the slide. Okay. Uh, I didn't have enough money. Okay, I didn't have enough money, that is good. Ricardo, with enough, in affirmative. Hello, Ricardo, are you here? Hi. Ah, hello. Uh, hi. Um, I play. I play football soccer. No, I play enough football soccer. Good. I play enough football soccer. Nice. Margarita, with too much or too many? Today the weather is too much hot. Okay, too much hot. Good, perfect. The other one is not enough for Hilda. Not enough, okay. Yeah, please. Okay. Um, I, I know, I know, um, Um, I not sleep enough in the night. Okay, I don't sleep enough at night. Good. Yeah. The other one is going to be enough in affirmative for Edwin. Okay, let me see. She has enough hair. She has enough hair. She has, sorry, sorry. She has enough hair. Good. With too many or too much, um, Gerardo. I play many video games. Okay. That is never enough, but that's good. Um, not enough with, uh, well, Nicolas. Uh, we don't have enough. Food. Okay, we don't have enough food. 
uh, with enough and affirmative, um, Elvis. I studied enough. I studied enough. Good. With uh, too much or too many, Joanna. Too much or too many. Um, I have too many pets in my head in my house. Okay, very good. That is it. Yeah, I see that is very clear. It's very nice. So this other exercise, well, this other grammar is also very interesting. Comparisons with adjectives and with nouns. So, in this case, we are going to use us as a comparative. Difference is that sometimes we're going to use adjectives and sometimes we're going to use nouns. First one, first example, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. What I'm telling here is that it's more convenient to have an apartment. So, when we have a negative statement like this, it's going to be that one is more than the other one. It's a comparative. In this case, we're using adjectives. So houses are as convenient. That is the adjective, as apartment. And we are comparing two things that may be similar, but one is more than the other one, depending on the adjective. Okay. On the other hand, we have houses have just as many rooms as apartments. So in this situation, what we're comparing is a noun, many rooms. And as you can see, this is an affirmative. That means that they are the same, the same level. We don't have one that is more than the other one. Houses have just, just it's like to emphasize, you know, but you can say houses have as many rooms as apartments. So it's possible to say that. And are in the same level, the same. The next one, it says, houses aren't just as convenient as apartment. Well, that is the same, right? Apartments don't have as many privacy as houses. Ah, that is a good one. So apartments don't have as much privacy. That is a noun, privacy, as houses. And this is also negative, means that one is more than the other one. As you can see here, the one that is going to be more is always the second thing. Because the first part is linked to the negative part. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. That means that houses have more privacy. The next example says it's not as cheap as the last apartment. So again, negative means one is more than the other one. The second one is cheaper, let's say, okay? It doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. And negative again, and uh, bedrooms. Here we're going to be careful about much or many, depending on the noun, of course. And then we have, a, this is a good one, it's almost as cheap as the last apartment. So that means with almost, it means that they are very similar, but not the same, right? Again, um, the one that is more is going to be the second one. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. So the last apartment is cheaper for a little bit uh, regarding the uh, first one. And the last example says it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So just again means that they are the same because it's an affirmative. Do you have any questions about this? No, teacher. No questions. Let me check how much time we have. Yeah, we have time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the practice of this one. Nice. 
Okay, this is something that is a very nice practice. I really like this one. Okay, you see here two cities, Alinopolis and Charleville. And we are going to compare the two cities, okay? We are going to use us and us, only that one. And here, according to the stars, you are going to see which one is more than the other one. Okay, so for the first one, it says beautiful. So we need to identify what is more than the other one. Which one is more beautiful than the other one? Alinopolis. Alinopolis. So Alinopolis is going to be at the beginning or at the second on this structure? The second. The second. Good. So now, how is going to be the sentence? And terrible is at the wall. Okay, let's go step by step. I know that sometimes it's difficult. So it's going to be terrible bill. So here, is... here we need to stop and think, remember that if one is more than the other one, it's going to be negative. Okay. So charitable bill aren't isn't 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 as beautiful as beautiful as Alinopolis. Perfect. Uh, that is that it. Is so that's what you have to remember. Is one more than the other one? It's negative. And the one that is more is going to be at the end of the sentence. So Charleville is isn't as beautiful as Alinopolis. Good. What about the second one, number two? People. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, which one is more than the other one? Yes. Alinopolis. Actually, it's Cerebral Bill. Isn't it right? Yeah. Yeah, because Cerebral Bill has four stars and Alinopolis has two stars. Two, so. two stars. So then we know that Cerebral Bill is going to be at the end of the sentence. It is going to be a negative sentence. So how is going to be the sentence? Mm. Could it be um, Alinopolis has hasn't um, it's a negative it's a, it, um, has, ha, don't has have not, doesn't have doesn't have good doesn't because have. it's a noun. So Alinopolis doesn't have doesn't have as 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 people. many people as many, many people, people. As people. Terrible. Terrible. terrible terrible by terrible. Good. Terrible. very good so Alinopolis doesn't have because it's a noun doesn't have as many people as terribleville terrible. nice Deep. Let's check the other one. Clean. How is it going to be? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Terrible. Terrible. Isn't. 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 As. As. Many. Hospital. I know. Uh, we're number clean. three. Clean. Clean. More clean. More clean. Many. As clean. As an Alinopolis. Very as good. Clean. That is it. So it's going to be because it's an adjective, it's going to be a uh, terrible bill, isn't as, as clean as, 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 as Alinopolis. 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 Very good. That is it. Now we go to number four. Um, 
Alinopolis mm -hmm. hasn't as many hospitals as uh, charitable by. Very, very good, but mm. it's not hasn't. What is going to be? Uh, has not. Haven't. Not have. Doesn't have. Doesn't, doesn't have. have. Doesn't have. <laughs> that is it. Good. So it's going to be okay. Alinopolis doesn't have. Teacher is first. Person. Yeah. Yeah, because ah, okay, it's a okay, city. Okay. It doesn't. Alinopolis mm. doesn't have. Doesn't have. Uh -huh. Many. As many. As many hospitals. 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 As, as terrible. As terrible, terrible bill. Terrible, terrible bill. Good. Terrible bill. Nice. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. So number five, how's it gonna be? Okay. Mm. Alinopolis has sent as many pollution as terrible pile. Okay. Alinopolis very similar. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Okay. Doesn't, doesn't have. Have. Okay. So mm. Alinopolis doesn't have as as many. No, not many. No, as pollution. As much. As much. As much. much. As much because much. it's a non count. Mm. No count. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. okay. So it's going to be Alinopolis doesn't have as much pollution as Terribleville. Good. What about number six? Mm. Um, it doesn't have much pollution at all. Mm. In this case, I will not have, have for for stars. So, uh, mm. so, I doesn't. Mm. Mm. This no. is interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. It could be oh, Alinopolis is as big as Eastern. terrible by very good repairs. That is it. Because it's because they are the same, it's, it's going to be know. affirmative. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since uh, they are the same, you can use Alinopolis or Terribleville at the beginning. It doesn't matter. You can say Alinopolis is as big as Charibouville, or you can say Charibouville is as big as Alinopolis. Affirmative sentence, because they are the same. Very good, very good. What about number seven? Uh, uh... Terrible, terrible, terrible bill. Terrible bill. Don't, don't have. Don't have as many as parks. Many as parks. As Alinopolis. Good. Terrible bill doesn't have as many parks as Alinopolis. Now it's better. Good. What about number eight? Uh, uh, terrible by bill uh -huh. is uh -huh. um, terrible bill is much cheap is is just uh, is okay but there is Bill. Okay, terrible, terrible bill. bill is cheaper than Alinopolis. Well, that is correct, but we are using us. How is it going to be with us? Terrible yeah. bill is cheaper. No, is not cheaper. cheaper. Then when we use us and us, we don't use cheaper. 
So mm -hmm. it's, it's the same. It's... We can say Charleville is cheaper than Alinopolis, mm -hmm. but we are not using that one. We're using us and us. Mm -hmm. So how is it going to be? Charleville. Just remember that when one okay. is more than the other one, it's going to be negative, right? Very good. So it's going yeah, to be Charleville isn't as cheap as, as Alinopolis. Cheap. Good. What about number nine? Okay, God. Mm. Mm. Alinopolis, Alinopolis doesn't, doesn't have, doesn't have, have as, as many cars, cars, many cars as, as terrible bill. Perfect. That was just perfect. So Alinopolis. it's going to be. Yeah, Alinopolis it doesn't have as many cars as Charleville. Nice. What about number 10? Alinopolis doesn't have uh, too many crime as much. Terrible as much. Too much. Very good. As, as much. much. As much. Alinopolis. Okay. So Alinopolis doesn't have as, as much as crime as terrible uh, okay more crime okay. as what about number 11 this is the same case than same. before yeah. yeah that's the same to say terrible bill has um has, has many schools. Has many schools as, 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 as Alinopolis. Very good, that is it. So you can say Charleville has as many schools as Alinopolis or the other way. Or, Alinopolis yes, has Alinopolis. as many schools as Charleville. Good, perfect. Uh, what about number 12, rainy? Mm. Rainy. Um, terrible bill has not um, rain as Alinopolis. It's almost perfect, but it's not has. Mm. Is? Have. No. Doesn't have? No. It's an adjective. Doesn't have. Yes. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. No, it's not doesn't have because it's not a noun. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is. Is. Isn't. 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 Good. Isn't. 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 Rain. Rain. So, as Very as good. Rain. As. That is going to be terrible. Isn't as rainy as Salinopolis. Well, we have just a few more and then we'll finish. Expensive houses. Expensive houses. How is it going to be that? Terrible um, bill. Terrible bill. Isn't as expensive house. Doesn't have. It doesn't have good. Doesn't have expensive house as Alinopolis. That is it. Terrible doesn't have as expensive houses as Alinopolis. Just remember that if it's an adjective, we're going to use the verb to be. If it's a noun, we're going to use do, does, well, like a regular one, right? What about number 14? Terrible buying. Does not Those. have, doesn't have uh, as many furniture stores as Alinopolis. Very good, perfect. Terribleville doesn't have as many furniture stores as Alinopolis. We're almost done. Number 15.
be water. Water, that's the one. Terrible, terrible bill, bill terrible, doesn't have bill. as clean water as Illinois. Very good. Terrible bill doesn't have does. as much does. clean water as <coughs> Illinois. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Doesn't have. Good. Just doesn't remember that it's much because mm -hmm. it's uh, uncountable. Right. What about number 16? Alinopolis <laughs> uh, have uh, hot water, hot water as uh, terrible as much bill. Hot water, water as terrible bill. Very good. That is affirmative because they're the same. So it's going to be Alinopolis has as much or just as much hot water as uh, Terrible or the other way around, right? We can use any on the, the beginning or at the end. Good. Do you have any question about this little practice? Mm. No, teacher. No. Yeah. We just need practice. This grammar, <laughs> yeah. I need, <laughs> I need to practice more. Yeah, yeah this grammar is uh, something that we need to practice. The good thing is that now you understand the way that you need to use, how to analyze. But when you are in a regular conversation, you suppose that you are going to say that in a normal way. So you're talking about, I don't know, whatever you are talking. So yeah. you can you can compare, you can say, ah, yeah, but that doesn't have as much um, pollution as the other one because we're, and you start, you're just speaking in a normal way, right? So we need to practice a little bit more. Uh, I can send you some exercises for you to practice and we can continue practicing the class if you want. Um, but practice is very important, okay? Okay. Okay, any questions with the platform as well? Any other thing? Mm. I think no. No, no teacher. Everything, okay. everything is good. Nice, so my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Today, I hope I can see you tomorrow and have a good night. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Good, night. Bye -bye. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.